East New Year goes back again. Yeah, back back in the new year. Back with some new stuff. Yeah. I thought that poo, but hey, who cares? <clears throat> anyway. Today we're back with Netrunner 17.01, which is dev based on Debbie and Jesse, but the testing version. Well, I know it's a testing version, but you won't get the most up-to-date software because it's testing and we want it to be a bit stable, don't we? So we've installed this in the box for you, so you can have a quick look around for you and show what it's all about, okay? So first we're going to read me, okay? So we double-click there. When it decides to work, let's have a drink while I'm here. Thank you. Hmm. Water, as you can tell. Okay, thank you for choosing desktop 1701, which is Byron or Byroyon or something like that. But yeah, it's got to be in it anyway. So if you've got problems with your touchpad, install X server Exog input synaptics. And about adding the server manda for add a network drive, lovely jubbly. At least they tell you before you even start, I know. Also, you'll need at least, I'll tell you again, at least 10 gig, even if you want to try it, okay? I've just put in 12, 13, so I've got a bit of room to do some stuff I want to play around with it, which I probably will for a couple of days, because that's what I like doing. Yeah, so we do that. Anyway, it's KDE, as you can tell. Works rather nice. Not sure. I st I'm still not a KDE lover, but hey, I might get changed. I might get turned. Who never knows? I'm getting old now. Uh, uh, oh, no, I know, I know. Okay, we'll go straight to the menu. <clears throat> now, this is a rather large download. It's over 2 gig. So make sure you've got a decent internet connection before you even start, okay? Under games, if I go back to it, it's rather fast as well. Burger Space, Chess, Frozen Bubble, Geotron, Kitty Breakout, K Diamond, K Mojong, K Mines, K K K, and Steam. A lot of K stuff, as you can tell, because it's KDE, of course. I know. Most of the stuff you need is going to be here, actually. I haven't found too much I want to add if I just want to go straight to this distro. Gimp is here, Inkscape is here. It's not Inkscape Light, it should be Inkscape Full. Nice, look at that. Big screen. What? I'm blinded. Help. I'm going away now. Bye. Okay. Next. <clears throat> okay. Go back to graphics again. We also get Critter. Lovely. LX Imager. And Scan Light for your scanning of your scanning stuff. Okay. And the internet. The Fox is your main browser here, which is fine by me. I use it all the time anyway. KDE Marble. That's alright. I've shown you that before. I'm not going to do that again because I got carried away last time, didn't I? Pigeon as standard. Q transmission, T transmission for your BitTorrent client. Skype is standard. I'm not sure if that's the new one or the old one. Let's have a quick look. If that loads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Skype 4.3. Okay. I won't worry about that. That's still the old one. Okay. There is a new one coming out actually, but there's lots of other stuff you can use. So I'll quit that so it's not in my memory. Right. What's that? Motor meter here. Oh, it was internet, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, down the bottom there, I forgot. You get X11, the VNC server, basically, so you can do VNC stuff. I know, I know, it's great. You can just do stuff and log into your stuff. I know, super. Multimedia. <clears throat> now, here's where we get a bit nice. Except for one, so far, okay? Audacious, that's okay. G Music Browser. Now, that if you like a play music player, that is fantastic. I'll quickly open it up for you so you can just quickly look. Okay? It's pretty plain. But if you've got a large collection like myself, it does what it says on Latin. I know, I know, I, I couldn't believe it, it's great. All right, back down there. I could always use right click as well, by the way. Back to multimedia. Handbrake, you have to transcribe your videos so you can use it on your Raspberry Pi code installation for your TV, lovely jubbly. Komozo for screenshots, it looks like. Caden Live, right. <sighs> well, well no, no. it works and sometimes it crashes a lot. Which is why I don't use it too much, okay? They are working on a new version. Let's hope it comes real soon. I'm not even going to open it because you have to go through some stuff. Pulse Audio Volume Control. I'll open that for you. You can have a look. There you go. It says what it says. Doesn't it look? Does everything you want it to do? Nice. Okay. If I right click desktop, we'll go back to the menu in a minute. If I right click, we get Create New, Icons, blah, 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 Range, blah, 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 blah. Open with Dolphin, which is their file browser here. Configure Desktop. Let's have a quick look. There you go, look. Different desktops, different backgrounds. If I bring it down, there is plenty here and you can get more if you wish, okay? Change your mouse actions, okay? Nice. Locations, icons, your filters, and your tweaks. Plenty of tweaks. Ooh. Oh, it's experimental. Okay, yeah, well. We'll come back to that anyway. Yeah, I'll read that later. But what I will do, I'm going to change the desktop background because I'm a bit bored of that already. That looks nice and colourful. Apply. Okay. Oh. That's nice and clear, isn't it? 
that's a very nice picture of somebody who's spray painted some pebbles from down the beach near where I live. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, <clears throat> back to multimedia. VLC player, very good choice. Plays nearly everything out of the box, so you can't really complain, can you? I open it for you. Just sort of, most of you know what this looks like. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know what I mean. Alright. Yeah. Last one on here. Voco screen. Okay, I'm still having problems with Voco screen on my main machine. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't do what it says. It's just not how it used to be. So, but hey, I'll use other stuff. Doesn't really matter. Mm. Under Office. LibreOffice, of course. So, I've got Office here. LibreOffice 5. It should be the full suite, but who knows? It may not be. You may have to add little bits to it if you want to. Writer, spreadsheet, impress, draw drawings, math formula, database. You've got the math formula. If it's here. And there it is. Ooh. I like it. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Mm. Must be lunchtime. Anyway, under settings, you get Synaptic Package Manager and System Settings. So that's fine by me. Under System, you get Dolphin, which is your file browser. My Info Center. Should we have a look? Okay, we'll have a look. Okay. This is what we're using now. Lovely. If we run down, I'll go to where are we? It's what I'm to show you. Graphical information. We're using OpenGL and X, X server here. You can use Wayland here if you want to. All right. Wayland, if you feel a bit, you know, cheeky. You know, yeah, I know, cheeky. Right, also I will tell you, when you use the installation, you do not get swap by default, okay? You'll have to manually partition your drive if you want some swap. Right, there's a lot of sayings now because a lot of people got so much RAM anyway, do you really need swap? Well, I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, I've got 32 in this system here. I've got another 32 in the drawer waiting to go in, right? Do I really need to have some swap? Well, you never know, do you? You never know. But recent tests have shown that you never, ever really use that much unless you've got it going for so long and you've got so much in cash. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. That's just my little thoughts on that, okay? A bit more I'm going to show you while we're here. Okay, <clears throat> console for your console stuff. or you dumb... Ah! K Weight Manager, your networking for your drives. But like SUSE Studio Image Writer is not the SUSE Studio stuff that I was using a couple of years ago to make me own distro. Okay, so let's put, put a password in for you. It's actually an image writer for making the USB disk. So you could always use Etcher or Known Disks or Disks as they call it. It's the same thing, it just does the exactly same thing and does it right. There's no DD in it. You have to do. Okay, if you're a new user, and someone goes, oh, do can do DD for your disk, and they go, Aah! and actually blank their own disk. Yeah, you don't want to do that. It's not very good, no. No, not at all. I might show you how to do that later. Actually, I've got plenty of time today. I don't have to go back to school until next week, so that's quite good. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> Synaptic is here, obviously. Update Manager, Virtual Box installed as standard. Windows wireless drivers. Now we don't normally have many problems with wireless drivers now, but it's there if you want it. Okay, so lovely, and you're cool. Yeah, okay. Let's have another. I like drop that time. You like? I like. I like. Lovely. That's super. Oh, yeah. And that's about it to show you at the moment. Yeah. What, what, what? Do you want me to show you anything else? Utilities. That's Arc here. It's Cadis here. Cake out and Spectacle. I know. Right up our browser. We'll just have a quick look. Does it play videos? I don't know if everything's installed by default. Who knows? Quick more water. Hmm. I've got a bit of flu over the new year. I'm also on the wagon, by the way, so alcohol free for at least this month, so that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, so we'll go over to the tube. Oops, I can spell. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Very fast, I like. There we go. Yeah, switch to UK English. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll just go to one of mine so we don't break any laws. Oh, look, there I am. And we'll just do that one there. Will it play? Of course it's going to do, because it's HTML5. Doesn't have to use Flash anymore, does it? Oh, yeah. Plays nice, isn't it? Looks all right. Pulled it there a bit. Yeah. Looks okay to me. What about if I go a bit higher? Will it go higher? Yeah. Go to 720. See what happens. Should be nice. Oh, yeah. Just go to 1080. See what happens. Yeah. And 60 frames per second as well. So let's have a look. Seems to be playing alright. Should we go full screen? Uh, big 
screen in here. Ooh, it looks nice. Get full screen. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Super duper. Plays everything I want to do. Back to normal. Okay, I'm going now. Bye. Okay, from what I've seen of Netrunner, <clears throat> it's rather fine. It's rather fun. I've only used it for a couple of hours, to be honest with you. I was just getting around the system to make sure everything was where I thought it was, etc. You know? But this is what you get when you get it. You just install it and you're off. You're ready to go. You don't need to do anything else. If you like KDE and this sort of KDE stuff, off you go and you can customise it to your heart's content. For me, maybe for not... not no, 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 not really. No, no, I'm still... I've still, still not been turned. But hey, I really like it. If I was going to score it out of five, it'd have to be five. Yeah. Sneaky Linux out. As it is. Bye-bye.